Okay, so technically the blood supply is going to be completely off. The big issue is I only for 10% of the tumor, probably even less than that, probably about 5%. It's hard to measure when you're looking at just blood vessels. 5% um, we couldn't get chemo into. It's not a big deal. Um, I think we definitely killed more than 90% of this tumor. So so far so good. Okay. Now if we detect some other some near parts growing we can always come back and do the same thing. So you cut off the blood supply to the adrenal gland? No. No. No, I went past the adrenal gland. This blood vessel came off, supplied the adrenal gland, and then it went past the adrenal gland and gave off a branch to the phrenic, to the, to the diaphragm, same thing. Okay. To the diaphragm. Now, it was so small, our catheters wouldn't even fit in it past then. And for me to give chemo, I don't want to give chemo to the diaphragm. No. That would be, yeah. it would, he'd have a hard time breathing mm -hmm. for a long time. Mm -hmm. Um, so, what I did is I just, what we can do is we can cut off the blood supply there, and there's, believe, believe it or not, there's enough coming from other areas that it would be okay, but if I give chemo there, that would be, that would hurt. He'd be hurting for a long time. So, I can't do that. All I can do is cut off the blood supply. So, the diaphragm does have other blood supplies going to it, so that'll be okay. I just can't give chemo in there. So, what I did is I used a special little uh, bead that just cuts off the blood supply to that area. And it cuts the blood supply off to the tumor. See how all that works? So that connection between those two, but not, not the rest of it. Okay. Exactly. So the diaphragm is going to be okay now. I would have liked to get chemo in that smaller 5%. I would have liked to because I think I would have killed it faster. We're still going to kill it, but there's a higher chance that cells could survive from that area because I did not get Is that chemo. in the upper part of it? Yeah, it's in the yeah. upper part very upper part. The adrenal gland sits on top of the, the kidney and what happened is the kidney obviously supplied most of the tumor with its blood. Unfortunately a little piece did come off the adrenal which we had suspected. We were hoping we could get all the way past but the blood vessel was so small our catheters couldn't fit in any further. We also have to have blood flow around our catheter while we're delivering the chemo. If not the chemo will inject it and it'll just bounce back and go somewhere else. There's a lot of stipulations, but overall, this is as, uh, about as good as we can get. There are some times where we can only get 50%. So, I mean, we were, we were really happy. Plus, we could cut the blood supply off to that one piece at the top. So, I don't really see any other tumors in his body. Um, I see some big lymph nodes around his aorta, yeah. but I don't see any other tumors there. Well, the CAT scan hasn't shown any. I was looking at that same cat. I just don't see anything yeah. else going on there. If we can control this thing, we may be in pretty good shape. So the problem is, if we don't control this tumor, it's going to start sending little tumors everywhere else to his body, in his body. So I think it's critical that we do try to control this, this one tumor. It'll start to spread. Mm -hmm. It'll go to his lungs, his bone, his liver, his brain. So, I mean, this is going to buy us a lot of time. And we will see Shallaby soon, and he'll start him on some treatment for that. I guess so. I'm not sure what Shallaby uh, has planned. He's the overall controller of the whole thing. He just refers him to us, and we'll we'll hammer it locally. So he's already feeling a little bit of he's feeling a little mm -hmm. soreness there. So that's oh, good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tamer's already dying, so that's I'm okay with that. But he may have some soreness there for a week if he's feeling it this early. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to give him some uh, Norco, some pretty strong narcotics that he can take. When, if he needs to take them, let him take them. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. Good talking to Thank you, folks. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thanks. Pleasure. Thank you.